How's your energy, Southern Arizona? Welcome back, my friends. I'm Paul C. Kala. Ari Alexander has the weekend off. We are just days away from the start of one of the biggest art festivals in North America. We are talking the Alfonso Ortiz Tirado Festival in Alamo, Sonora, a colonial town south of the border known for being a second home to scores of Tucsonans. It's also known for its scenic Sonoran cycling this time of the year. Music, history, athletics, and cycling. U of A grad and Tucson resident Jose Vargas Tan is one of scores of Arizonans that enjoy the sport of bike riding through the historic cobblestone streets of Alamo, Sonora. There are absolutely no words to describe the beauty. It's, it's marvelous. It's amazing. It's completely different. Especially this time of the year in the state that borders Arizona. Starting this Friday, the 19th through the 28th, thousands of people flock to this colonial town with Tucson ties for the International Arts Festival, known locally as Fawut. We tend to come for like the fiestas. We do a lot of his history kind of stuff down here. There's lots of people from the United States who come here and visit. Uh, technically, the majority are from Tucson, from Phoenix. Well, it's a great town for cycling. It's got uh, narrow streets, very low traffic speeds, and uh, probably shouldn't say this, but the police don't bother you if you ride the wrong way on the street. So you can pretty much get everywhere you want to go on a bicycle. So I also tried my hand at cycling during the historic International Arts Festival, and definitely had loads of fun. Who would have ever thought the sport of bike riding would be so fun and also informational? Get this, getting to ride through an historic Pueblo that literally was founded in the 1500s and to this day is a jewel of our border state of Sonora, Mexico. And of course, lots of Americans, lots of Southern Arizonans make their way here, not only as visitors every single year, but many call this area a second home as well. Oh yeah. Nearly 200 structures here that are national monuments, going back to the colonial years of North America. But for now, I'm going to continue on my little sport of bike riding and all the exercise and history involved. See you in a bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lots of fun, exercise, sports, culture, and every other thing we've continually spoke about. A cycling paradise, shall we say. A peddler's paradise for Elson. It's also music to the ears to U of A grads like Vargas Ton and the scores of others from Tucson that'll make the trip to Alamos in the next few days for the arts festival via car, bus, or yes, even bike. It's truly amazing. Worthy of a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, my thumb's still up. Uh, what a great experience. Of course, very colonial town, very historic. Lots of Tucsonans live in Alamos, Sonora, and... Uh, as I found, there's a lot to take advantage of riding their bikes around the area as well. Now you're you're going to be heading back? Uh, you know what? I plan, I plan on trying to head out there uh, again. I try to go whenever I can, of course, but uh, got to take those uh, those overnight buses. <laughs> All right. So that way, I just sleep the whole but way. You, you ride the time. whole yeah, way. Exactly. Actually, you're a big cyclist. Yeah. Just no, pedal I, all the way down no, there, just, When I get there, then you have to rent a bike or borrow one. <laughs> All right. When we come right back, baby.